May Day, May 1st, and it's about 55, sunny, and very breezy. So hopefully this will keep the black flies at bay. And I'm gonna take you around and show you some of my little perennial gardens around the house. This is the retaining wall by our driveway and this has all kinds of perennials in it and don't ask me to name them because I'm not good at that. I do have some daylilies, some what's it called elephant ears and some other little green stuff right there. Sorry my glove, <laughs> I forgot I had it on. Anyway, and so we're gonna just take a little walk through. They fill up this garden, including the weeds, but <laughs> I think they'll kick the weeds out. This is my little orb that lights up, it's solar lit and I love it. It reminds me of the earth. This is my little horseshoe garden right here. My welcome sign has fallen off and I have to re-cement it on and repaint it. And this, every garden that we have pretty much has the same type of flowers in it. And our drainage system is not the greatest, so we've got drainage everywhere. <laughs> There's where the greenhouse is and the vegetable gardens. So I'm gonna walk you up our stairs over here. And we're gonna go to the front of the house and I'm just gonna shoot around the house. I love this stairway. My brother Mike, who has passed away, helped me build this. And it's just an easier way to get up instead of going all the way around. So here are a little bit of perennials. My nose is running from the wind. This is our little uh, project that I made with the cannonball and the cannon. It's not the greatest, but it serves its function, if you get my drift. All right, this is going to fill up. There's a little bush. You can't see. This little bush right over here. Anyway, that's a, a, a cut off of another bush I'll show you in a second. I don't know what it's called. So, this is the front of the house. This little baby's supposed to flower. I can't remember what the name of it is, but it hasn't flowered yet. I guess it still needs to mature a bit. And this is the bigger version of that little, oh, I'm sorry, sniffling. This corner gets the best sunlight and these daylilies just love it. Wow, oh, did you see that big fat bumblebee? There's a bumblebee. Anyway, we've still got a lot of things to do before we're ready for summertime. These are my my roses. These roses came from my mom's house, my mom and dad's house. And they're pink. They're beautiful. And just every time I look at them, it reminds me of my mom. So we're going to walk through here. And... We still have a lot of work to do in the yard. We've got burning to do. This is our little oh, shooting gallery. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Anyway, this is where we will be doing uh, baby guns and archery and stuff like that. Everybody just about has one of these in their yard in Maine. <laughs> this is another little garden I have. we got tons of rocks over here, but I still can't find any more rocks from my garden. And I'm not taking them from other spots. Right in here, this little bugger survived the winter. The one, the white one did not. It's usually green and that is totally dead. And that little arbor gets maroon and white flowers. I can't remember what the name of them are. Then we've got more day lilies coming up over here. I still have to fold up our plastic that was covering the garden. I did get to plant some stuff in the garden over here. And they have survived 35 degree weather at night. So they're pretty hardy. And I still have to get in here. 
not a very huge yard but it does I mean this back part we don't use I was hoping to you know go in there and do a walkway or something but I've just gotten too old I guess you could say for doing anything back there and we're hoping this summer to take down this one little tree and do like a little side driveway over here and then I do have a couple more little gardens like this one right here and they just all fill up in perennials and I just don't have to worry about them they're very hardy there's another little garden right there and I've tried to do some flowers around the greenhouse on this side because I like the, looking at the bright colors. I did this whole little thing, everything around with the rocks I've done on my own over the past, I don't know, 15, 20 years. And I really enjoy working with the rocks. So today, I am, oh my God, these are full of water. Let me turn these over. We got a lot of rain yesterday. Now I can make it all more mucky. But I've got a drainage that goes down through here. And this, as you can see, it's draining from the garden right along our well, which I have stole a little rocks from the well area, but that was important. And then this drains all the way down to the ditch by the road. So I like showing you guys the backyard mostly. So this is what we've got. It's, you know, for our age, it's a really nice sized house. Sometimes it can be overwhelming, but on those days, we just let it go and move along. And I still have a lot going on in here. I have got to get my garden situated so I can get these out. And I am going to be filling up the green Mr. Stacky today, along with doing some garden work. These little green beans are starting to do pretty good. And I'm debating if I'm gonna leave some in the greenhouse to see how they do. Keep a couple in the greenhouse, and replant them in bigger pots and then just see if they do better than the, the ones in the garden. So, so that is my garden tour everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to getting the garden planted. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for our next video. So there.